and promote the memorial and the park as a place of encouragement, learning, education and development of our school children, their families and our communities. So I'd like you all to give a warm welcome please to Dr. Mapadubi Mandela and to Greenie Mandela. Good morning. Thank you very much, Sonia. Uh, thank you very much. I, I think um, for us as Mandela's progeny, we are really humble that uh, five years after Tata's death, uh, the world still honors him. Um, Tata would love to have loved to see, if he was alive today, that he was not the only one who fought for freedom, for justice, and the liberation of people in South Africa, and actually spoke for the world, that uh, there was a glorious we. He always talked about the glorious we. And I think that uh, the memorial garden that is going to happen here should be a reminder to all of us that we all have it in our hands to change the world. It is not a single person who can change the world. Madiba, my father, Khodishlata could not have done it alone without the support of people here in Cambridge, in England, in Australia, in the US, all over the world. No, he couldn't have done it. He couldn't have survived those brutal years. But uh, I think for young people, my dad was very much interested in the young people because they represented the future. And I think that if we can teach the young people to care about each other. Because if all of us can just touch the heart of another, we would actually hate another person, we would not uh, discriminate against another person. We need, we are different, but in our difference there is unity, there is camaraderie amongst all of us. And so those are the values that we, we have to uh, uh, enhance and move uh, forward into the future. And with those short words, I'd like to say to the Liverpool City and to Mandela Aid, continue the good work that you are doing. Because what you are doing here in this garden is also what we as a family are doing in South Africa, what we call planning the Freedom Garden, so that people can visit where my father is lying and also be reminded continually that unless we are free all over the world, none of us are free. And uh, we, 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 we really need to, at this point where there is a resurgence of emphasizing differences around the world, I think we need to fight very hard so that we don't roll back the gains that have been made so far. Because the future doesn't lie in us fighting amongst each other. The future for this planet lies in us collaborating and working with each other across boundaries, across age, across racial differences. That's the future of this world. Thank you very much. reminded of where we come from, um, of, of the good that we can do as human beings, because all of us have the potential to contribute to make this a better world. It's not just the Nelson Mandela's of the world, the Martin Luther King's of the world, uh, the JFK's of the world. Um, it's all of us. If we wake up every day and ask ourselves, how can I be a better person today than I was yesterday? 
And this park to me would be a dead reminder for us as elder people, for the younger generation and for the future. I think this park is going to be wonderful because people who visit Liverpool will come to this park and start rem reminding themselves that as human beings we have more in common than that, that divides us.